guys, today we're gonna make some gumbo. And into this heavy bottom cast iron Dutch oven over medium high heat, add a half a cup of canola oil. Add in a half a cup of flour, and we're gonna stir it. And this is gonna, this is gonna be our brew. We need to cook it until it is a nutty brown. That's gonna take uh, about 15 to 22 minutes. So we will be back, guys. Don't worry, we'll be back. This is what we're starting with, and we will continue on. It is important to stir this. Do not let it burn. <coughs> if roux burns, you have to throw it out and start over, guys. There's no safe in burned roux or scorched roux. Okay, we'll see you in about 15 to 25 minutes. Let me show you the beautiful stuff we're putting in. As you can see, we have an onion. We have red, green, and orange pepper. We have okra. We have seasonings. We have andouille sausage. We have shrimp, and we have chicken stock. And what else? A stewed tomatoes. Oh, and I need some garlic. Guys, our roux is getting brown. It's turned a golden color. You can kind of see in there. So you can kind of see this turned a golden brown. So now we're going to add to this roux our onions, our bell pepper, and our celery. So here on our thing, we have our celery. We're not going to add our okra yet. So we're going to add our celery. Three stalks of celery diced our medium onion dice, and a third three bell pepper, three peppers, and I did red, green, and orange. Now you can do all the same color if you want, or you can do mixed. I like mixed, so I'm doing the mixed. So there you go, we got all in there. We're gonna stir it up in our roux. It's been a while, guys, since I made this. This is gonna cook for eight to 10 minutes. We have it turned down so it doesn't burn, so we're gonna stir it every so often. So we're gonna set a timer for eight for about eight minutes and we'll see what, if the vegetables are ready before we move on to our next step. Our vegetables are soft. We are now gonna add, go on to our next step where we're gonna add our garlic and our sausage. So here's our sausage. We're gonna add our sausage in. This is andouille sausage, one package. It's four lengths. And six cloves of chopped garlic. Cajuns are serious about their food. So we're gonna kick this for about a minute until it starts to have a nice aroma of garlic. Stir it, you can salt. I've changed this a little, so I have to look at it. I'm also gonna add in, the recipe doesn't call for okra, but I'm putting okra in. Okra will also, I have fresh okra. It also work as a thickening agent, and it's often very common in Cajun food. So put that in there. That's about a quarter of a pound of okra. Cooking this on here a little bit. Now, I am not gonna add the shrimp till Later on, I'm gonna let this cook the rest of the afternoon and then right before, about 15, 20 minutes before we eat, I will add the shrimp in, but I don't want the shrimp to cook all afternoon in there. Okay, that aroma's coming. It takes about one to two minutes. I can smell the aroma from the garlic, so that means it's ready. So now we're gonna add to this four cups of chicken broth, one can of stewed tomatoes, two tablespoons of Tabasco sauce, two tablespoons of Cajun seasoning, three bay leaves, and one tablespoon of cayenne. Guys, this is the beginning of our gumbo. We're gonna let this cook on low for the rest of the afternoon. Then I have arrowroot here. I couldn't find any gumbo. I'm gonna fila. I can never pronounce it. F-I-L-E, guys. Anyway, I couldn't find any up here. So, in New England. I know they sell it, but I just couldn't remember where I saw it, so I didn't have any. So I have arrowroot, which will work the same, and also the okra I have in here will also work as a thickening agent. So we're gonna put a lid on it. I'm gonna stir it occasionally, and we will come back later and finish it off, and we will make rice, and we'll serve it with rice, and this will be our supper tonight. See you guys on the flip. You can stir up some sausage to get it on the top, too. 